Hi everyone, Matthew here with Aerolic Gaming. Today I'm going to make a video for you about how to start your own stream, specifically Golf Clash, but this would apply to any mobile game on either iOS or Android. The purpose of the video is to explain how you'll set up everything from the camera to inserting the graphics that you see on the screen, the background image, and just generally how to get up and going. Unfortunately, if you're using only a phone or only a tablet and you don't have a PC or a Mac to connect to stream with, I don't think this video will be for you. So while I may not know specifically how to use each of these mobile streaming software, I understand that, for example, GC Rob Dog 79 has had great success in using the Mobile Stream Labs app. The, um, the Do Recorder, which is that orange icon there, Do Recorder, D-U Recorder, is another very popular um, iOS or Android only recording tool, as well as Omelette Arcade. That's that little handheld controller icon that you see there. Those are three uh, mobile streaming apps that I know have some popularity in our community and to my knowledge would make um, good suggestions as to a place to start if you don't have a PC or a Mac to work with. Right, so the two main programs that I use to run the stream is Streamlabs OBS which is a free program that I install on the PC and if you put that into Google, uh, Streamlabs OBS, go through the installation steps. As, as far as I know, it works exactly the same on PC and on Mac. As well, then I install the program called A Power Mirror. I use it for free as well. Um, I know that it works equally for iOS and Android as well. If you're using either a phone or a tablet, it should work just the same to connect your device to your PC or Mac through um, the Wi-Fi network in your house. I'm really working to make this as straightforward and approachable as I possibly can. Please leave any comments or questions that you have in the comment section below um, and I'll absolutely chat with you one-on-one. -on -one. We can work together uh, and then try to get everybody up and running so that we can share our awesome game together and share it with the community. So to me, the first step is really identifying who you are online. What is your brand? What is the, you know, what do you want to share with the community? Are you going to just use your name? Or, you know, for me, me for example, I took a fantasy character name that has a lot of meaning to me personally, Aralic, and I use that as the branding for my YouTube, for my Twitch, and for my Facebook page. And to me, I think it's important that you start with an account. You start with a Gmail account. Now, if you are streaming Golf Clash and you want to keep it as simple as possible, start with YouTube. YouTube is where the vast majority of all of our community is. And if that's all you work with, that is an absolutely perfect and acceptable choice. But I would recommend creating a brand new Gmail, which equals YouTube. They are the same. They're both owned by Google. Um, this way, when you are setting up your, your stream, everything is going to be saved onto the same account and it won't be cross-referenced with your own personal information. So that would be the first step to me. The most important step actually is creating a name and a Gmail account that you're going to associate all of your streaming with. Once you have a name established for your channel, um, what you have to also consider is you want to have some kind of brand imagery. First of all, you'd want to start with a logo. Logo is a really important way to express your channel. It's also a great tool that you can use to collaborate with other streamers such as what I've done with Ian Ballinger, Golf Clash Italy, GC Fenzel. Um, you know we exchange logos on one another's streams. Now that's not something you have to do um, but it's an option and it's something I wanted to bring up that as uh, you know an often overlooked detail. When I was first approached by Mr. Gio Viviani of Golf Clash Italy uh, I didn't have a logo and the one that I was using was not really a high enough quality to be 
you know, utilized um, in a share, you know, you know, in a shared setting. So I went to uh, these websites that I have over here, brandmark.io and fiverr.com. Now, Brandmark is where you can go to just get a logo. There is a cost associated, um, but they have an infinite number of options and possibilities. And you just work with an AI um, algorithm, which basically helps you just pick one without having to deal with any people. Now, Fiverr.com is uh, it's a very, very unique and very special, very helpful web page. There, not only can you find the logo, but you can also find artists that you can work with one-on-one -on -one to make banner images. You can make the, um, the moving animated intros and outros that you see on the videos. Um, Fiverr is a really interesting website and uh, I think it's worth checking out. Again, there is a cost associated with it. These are not essential. But I'm trying to help you make a stream that you're going to be proud of um, and at least to discuss the different elements that you can work towards um, so that you can enjoy your content, the quality of it. Of course, if you just want to start with your smiling image as your logo, use your picture. Um, as far as the banner image goes, you can just use Microsoft Paint. You can throw something together. But I recommend trying your best to build the most uh, professional and high quality stream that you can. Okay, so here we are with Streamlabs open and I've got my mouse there you can see with the yellow ring around it. So what do you do? What are we looking at? This black box here is basically what the viewer is going to see on the screen. So the first thing, of course, you're not going to see Switch, Mario Kart, you know, my intro, my gameplay, the end scene that I always forget to use, right? You're going to see a blank box here. So you're going to go and you're going to click on this plus sign and you're going to make a new scene called first stream. Okay, so that's cool. There we go. Now what? So now it says first stream. Big deal. Nothing changed. That's because you haven't added any sources. So the sources are what things the scene We'll see. So under your sources, you're going to click this plus sign and we're going to add, I like to start with an image. I like a background image. I think it really makes things come alive. I'm going to start with the green grass that I know you have probably seen me use before and boom, there we go. Now we have a stream with green grass. So what? That's cool. Looks nice. But then what do we do? So we're going to continue to add sources. Right, so the next important source that we're going to add, I think, to me, is the video capture device. Now, of course, adding a webcam is entirely optional. It's not essential, but I think it's uh, an important aspect of really connecting with the streamer. Um, but again, it's personal choice. So I'm going to just call this one webcam. Oh, and there we go. Hi. <laughs> so you see we've got that. Now there's a bunch of options. You can get in there and start fussing around, but we're just going to click done. And there we go. We've got a webcam. -wee. You can, of course, click this little corner or you can click these, whatever you like. You can resize it, put it wherever you want. It'll kind of snap into the corner. Snap, snap, whatever you like. Okay, so cool. So now I'm going to add one more image just to give you an idea that you can add other images. So let's do that. We did a little fast. Sources, add, image. Okay. I'm going to add a new source because I want a new image. And I already have it here, but I'm going to add a new source down here. Add a new source. You can just call it whatever you want. Logo, add source, browse. Okay, you're going to go on your computer wherever you have it. Um, and I do believe I have the Golf Clash logo in here somewhere. There it is. Bada bing. Okay. And I'm going to click done. So now that Golf Clash logo is going to show up. You can drag the corners. Like I said, drag the corner. Make it nice and big. Make it small. Whatever you want to do. So now this is an important time for me to mention that the order of the items in the sources list, it matters. So what is on the top of the list is basically what you're going to see 
first. So if I move this green grass background, see I'm moving it up to the top of the list, everything disappears. Now when I move the logo on top of it, it comes back and the webcam. So remember, keep your background on the bottom of the list, right? That's important. Now, how do we see the game? Okay, so now, of course, you have a power mirror already running in the background. So we're going to go to the sources. We're going to add one more new one, and it's called a window capture. I'm going to add that source as a new one. Okay, we can call it whatever you want, just to keep things organized. It could be your phone, your tablet. Now, this settings for window capture menu is going to come up. Under the window section, we're going to go to this drop-down menu. And we're going to find A Power Mirror Main. Aha, and you should see the A Power Mirror window here. Now, if you look closely, I'm actually going to go through those options just so you can see. If you're using, oh, I'm going to click the program Android, it's going to show you what to do. Please run A Power Mirror app on your phone, then tap the mirror button. Okay? If you're using iOS, please make sure your PC and phone are on the same network, which they will be. You're at home. And you're going to bring up this menu, swipe up from the bottom. On an iPad, you swipe down from the top right corner. Okay? On an iPad, swipe down from the top right corner to activate this menu. And I'm going to do that on my iPad right now. I'm going to activate that menu and I'm going to click that screen mirroring program. And then I'm going to bring up the one with my name on it. Oh, and there you see we've got the game. So it's a little bit big, as you can see. So we're just going to resize it, resize it, bring it to the top. That's what I prefer anyway. You can do what you like to do. I'm going to bring it to the bottom, and we're going to move it over. So there you go. I mean, we have already a Golf Clash stream. One little tip that I know is going to come up as a question is you can see my green screen clearly behind me. How do I make that disappear? So some of you will have a green screen, some of you won't, or some of you might get one in the future and you're curious how. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click down on my webcam here, I'm gonna right click on it, and I'm gonna go up to filters. Okay, so right now there's no filters applied. We're gonna click on this plus button. And it's not the face mask plugin, it's called Chroma Key. There it is, Chroma Key. Okay, done. It's going to bring up all these fancy options. I'm not interested. I'm just going to click done. If you're having trouble making your green screen work, there's a lot of tutorials on YouTube. Um, and you're going to have to work with like flattening the screen, getting better lighting. Um, there's a lot of details that I'm not going to get into right now. But if all else fails, we have already made a stream. So then all you need to do, well, essentially you're going to have to go into... YouTube, right? So you're going to go into YouTube, right? And you're going to click on your stream. You're going to go into YouTube Studio, go into your channel. I don't like the new beta that YouTube has. I click down here on Creator Studio Classic um, because I find it navigation difficult. Creator Studio Classic is going to bring open this classic window. I go to the live streaming section. Okay, I go to live streaming. Give it a minute to load here. There we go. You can see the pro weekend round that I just completed. I go here and let's call this test first stream. Okay, it's automatically changes are being saved. All changes have been saved. We're going to close this. It doesn't need to be running. It can be for your chat, of course. Um, and now that we've done that, if we click the Go Live button, I'm not actually going to go live, but you can see Test First Stream here in OBS or Streamlabs OBS. Right? So if I were to confirm and go live, we would go live with exactly what you see. And everybody be like, oh, hey, buddy, what, what are you doing, right? So that's really it. You know, there's a lot of subtle nuances. There's a lot of little details. Um, I, I haven't covered everything, and I don't want to, you know, um, try to cover everything. I think this is a really good place to start. You have A Power Mirror. You have Streamlabs OBS. 
you add a background, you add a webcam, you have your audio, maybe a little bit of imagery, you link your game, and then really it comes down to your own artistic and personal taste, um, your preferences. So please leave some comments in the comment section below. Let me know what else you need to know. I might do a follow-up video or we can just chat one-on-one -on -one to talk about what it is that you think um, I might have missed. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope this can help even just one person. Um, it's taken me a lot of time to get to this point of making it feel and seem easy. So don't be frustrated. Don't give up. There's been a lot of little bumps in the road for me. And uh, we'll talk. Be in touch. Good luck. Happy streaming.